studio, I've got friend, R&B artist, Tefo. How you doing? I'm good. How you doing? Good. So welcome back to CJRU 1280. Thank you very much. Well, thank Glad you for even back. coming back. <laughs> Yes, I, I was excited when you came back. Okay? Show love where it's due. All right, sure. so talk to us. You are a friend, obviously, to the show, but talk to us for people that don't know who you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, so my name is Tefo. Stands for Truth, Enlightenment, Freedom, and Opportunity. Uh, based in Toronto, pop artist, R and B sensibility. You know, we, we we do good music, good music and good vibes. Good music and good vibes. But remember, we talked a lot about dance hall last time. Eh? Yes, yes, dance hall is definitely yes. part of the mix. Yes, you forgot well. to throw that in there. Dance eh? hall is part of the mix <laughs> for sure. <laughs> but you do a dance hall still. You know what? I I do all types of music, but yes, dance hall is is part of. It's part, it's part of that. Okay, but you know you have a single with somebody, and I shouted you out, well, that first with A.O. Gorman, right? Yes, sir. Yes, and sir. I shouted you out. I said, Tefo's management needs to get back to me, yeah. that he needs to come on the show again and promote <laughs> that single. So you have singles. Yes, so what is the one with A.O. Gorman, a Left Side? Yes, Left Side, Left Side. That, that That's a track that came together. Uh, me and A.O., we met at you know a studio uh here in toronto actually um and you know i heard some of the stuff that he was working on and i'm like no 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 we got it. we definitely have to collaborate you know i see him all the time we always bump into each other we definitely have to collaborate um then we had a beat you know producer sent me a beat and then i wrote i wrote the rec you know i wrote the wrote the wrote the course for left side funny left side right um AO threw his verse on there and then you know we put we put the track together and it was it was very fun. It was very fun. And it's very nice and rich, eh? Yes, yes sir. <laughs> <laughs> so would you say your style still is dance hall more, Tafo? I know we talked about it the first time, but you know I'm gonna bother you about that. You know what? I wouldn't say it's only dance hall. I would say it's it's pop, you know, like I'm I'm a pop artist, right? Yes. Um, there's definitely dancehall influences. There's definitely Afrobeat influences. You know, all types, right? There's definitely R and B. You know, all that all that stuff. Um, but uh, you know, I, I wouldn't call myself a, a, a dancehall artist per se. Um, but it, it's definitely part of that. So you wouldn't do like a shaggy, Mr. Boombastic? Oh, hey, wh why not? Why not? We would definitely. I mean, I'm open to the possibility. Mr. Lava Lava. <laughs> sure. Would you work with Shaggy, Tepo? Of Tepo? course. Of course. In a heartbeat. Well, Rihanna wanted to work with him, but Rihanna shouldn't slammed him. Not Rihanna didn't slam him down. The problem is Shaggy wanted to get on the album, and then Rihanna almost, well, we still have yet to see where this album is. It wasn't completed, but mm -hmm. Shaggy did not get on to Rihanna's album. Of course, Rihanna would want to work with Shaggy. That would have been a Shaggy. nice collab, though. I know, and you and Shaggy would have been a nice collab, too. Of course, too. it's going to happen. So, Tefa, you have another single with another friend, Man Yes, Klish. yes, yes. You want to yes. talk about so, that one? We got a single. It's my single, Something. It's called Something, um, produced by me. Uh, it's a track that I came up with. Uh, you know, I was. <laughs> it was late at night. I found the beat that I produced. And I was just like, no, this is this is really nice. Like, this is a cool, this is a cool beat. And then I started, you're looking for something. You know, I was going through, going through some times, going, you know, thinking about all this stuff in the past, right? Um, and the song itself is actually about, you know, somebody who, who tries to take things a little too fast, you know? Tries mm. to take things a little too fast and mm -hmm. tries to dictate what you should do rather than what you want to do. You know what I'm saying? But remember, you declined her call the first time, and now she's looking for something, That's right? right. She was always looking for something. But did she find what she was she looking for or no? She, she, she found a good catch. It was me. Oh, excuse <laughs> me. Well, I mean, don't get me wrong. You are a good-looking man, so maybe, what do you call She. I just hope she found the meaning that is she happy. I don't know if she's happy, to be honest with you. Okay, but well, you got to do another follow-up song maybe, for maybe that. I do. Maybe, maybe I do. you got to, is she worth it? She might be worth it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Ladies, what are you doing? Tefo is still in that search. You know, in, in the song, I, I talk about very few qualified to be my wife. So, like, Ooh. I got... I do have some high standards. My family taught me well. No, no. And you are <laughs> so, allowed to have high standards. That's right. And I mean, we live in we live in a culture where everybody's trying to move too quick. You know, everybody's trying to do things that are, you know, way out of our own grasp. Right. Um, where, whereas, you know, it's all about take just take things slow, take your time, you know, and, and, and go about life easy first. Right. The things that come the most natural, the most easy, I would say, are the best things in life. 
So what do you, you say? Know. What do you say when a woman mm. does that song versus a man does that song? Because with men, it might sound like you're, you know, bashing women. Mm. But when a woman does a song like that, how come she can get away with it? Well, you know what? To be honest, there's, there's always a double standard. But I mean, it's not even about a double standard. Like for me, the song itself is not bashing women at all it's actually empowering women more so saying like you know there's 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 more to life than you just trying to hey let's go get married or hey let's go like to the club you know like what are we doing right why don't we why don't we focus on getting the bag first you know once you get the bag then you can settle down <laughs> but what about settling down then get the bag what do you think about that i mean there's nothing wrong with that and everybody chooses their own path but for me i'm all about my bag then i can settle down because like you know there's so much work to do in the tefl world Don't wow <laughs> <laughs> Ladies, you know, you will have a lot of work to do. But he's, I, hey, if it's in his music, why can't he talk about that? I mean, Summer Walker can talk about playing games. That's right. So That's right. would you do a song like that, playing games, say the girls are playing? Well, you remember, I'm a decline, you're That's called right. decline, decline. That's what decline was. You know, I started off with play play, right? She was playing games, right? Mm -hmm. Then, you know, she I had to decline her call. Now, you know, she was always looking for something. So I, gotta, I just got to tell her, hey, I'm aware of that, right? Don't mm. think I don't know. That's mm. what it is, right? She's not fooling anybody by these games that she's playing, right? She's not fooling anybody, I, I see it. But then she's still looking for something. She is. So she your is. music is more like chapters and Definitely. it's like it's slowly being revealed. Slowly. So I wanna know when will she find this something? You're gonna have to wait to see, stick okay, around. Okay, so what would be a next single after something? Well, it's hard to tell, it's hard to tell. You, you guys are gonna have to stick around and watch and see as the story unfolds. And what are you going to say to the ladies right now where they say, brother, I want to hear you sing? Well, I mean, I, I say we, we, could, we, yeah. could, we could arrange that. Okay, so why <laughs> did you sing that latest single from you yeah. and Monclish? Yes, yes, yes. And shout out to my brother Monclish. He's, shout he's out awesome. to Monclish. He's, he's been awesome. here before. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah, but... You know, the verse goes, pretty girl, you're pretty, you're so, so pretty, but such a pretty that your character dirty, and you're just a act too, flirty, flirty, them the kind of living can't go with Tefo, you just want a man with a diamond on the bezel, I did bring the truth, you're not dip on me level, you think I'm a fool, decline, whatever, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be your lover, you looking for something, yeah. Woo, murder <laughs> she wrote, <laughs> murder <right>. she wrote, <laughs> <laughs> well it sounded like like that you know it sounded like that type of it's, style it's all good vibes man. pretty character face and bad character <laughs> <That's right. laughs> you should have added that part oh yeah pretty face and bad character Maybe you always are one. dirty <laughs> you should have sampled that would they let you sample that because you know some of those big songs yeah. they would not let you sample would you sample well, that lyric possibly okay. possibly would yeah. you be into sampling like because because we talked about before you write your own music yes, so and write that's and what that's yeah. what i love about you so it's not tefo again is sitting write me this write me that write me this write me that i gotta have this song i gotta steal that one from chris brown because i heard chris brown's gonna take that song tefo writes he sits he writes so these kind of songs i like I mean, if I was a woman, maybe there would be too much high standards this man has. Well, you know, when you see the video, the women were definitely vibing to it. They really wow. love the track. Wow. They really love mm. the track. What do you say to the ladies that they haven't found that one yet, mm. but what do you want to say to them in the music? What do you want to tell them? Well, I'm, first of all, you're beautiful. <laughs> Second of all, get your bag, right? Then those people, those people, because I mean, they always say you'll you'll intimidate the people that don't really want it, right? By you, you know, really getting your own, right? So first of all, get your own. Then you'll attract the right people. Mm. And Tefo is, ladies, you should be listening to the music. Oh yeah, you should be. Now, Tefo, are we gonna work on an album? Quite possibly. Quite possibly. There's a possibility. Quite possibly. Tefo, There's a possibility. You've got to keep us engaged, okay? <laughs> Teeny boppers, you know, the style is one trend. We're having a lot of Afrobeat dance hall. Oh, yeah. So I want Tefo to just sing his heart out next. Yeah. You know, do a little tank and just, you know, rip the shirt off, make the ladies go, ah! 
Well, I got so many tracks. I got so many tracks set to come out this year. So you, you just might be, you might, you might be surprised. So you'll give us a little tank where you're sitting, singing your heart out. And I'm gonna you give a... you all types of stuff. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So it's. Not... Would you rap toots? Would you rap? One hundred percent. I got a track coming out. That yes, I am rapping on it. And actually, I mean, on this this track, something I am sort of like melodically rapping. But specifically, there's another track called Already One. It's coming out. Look out for it. Um, that I am rapping on it. Okay. So yes. Okay, because you know, I mean, and don't get me wrong. I love the Afro beat, love the dance hall, but too much of one thing. You know what the young people do? Yes, sir. They run. That's right. Or they just get bored and say, you know what? <laughs> I can't bother. What do you call it? Even though it's it's a double standard again, because they don't mind the same thing from Drake and Chris Brown, but with Afro beat and dance hall, you have to be careful. Yes, sir. Because too much juk juk, too much de you know, wine up, wine up, wine up. <laughs> Teeny boppers, yes, they're into that at yeah. 16, 17, 18 at the club and the parties and the prom. But after that, if I'm a 21-year-old man or if I'm a 30-year-old man at a party just celebrating that, I got to think about my wife, got to think about my kids, got to think about my husband. Yes, maybe I missed the days when I was in my 20s and I did a little juk, 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 juk. But you know what I'm saying? Of course, of course. And I mean, like, with my music, you do not have to worry about that. Everything has a message. You know, so even if it is like the the wind up type of music, there's still a message in it. So yeah, there's still there's always a message. something to take from it for sure. Yeah, your music still has a message, yeah. and even if Tefa wants to talk about sex, <laughs> there's still a music, a message. Sorry, music. Well, he's they're listening to it. Yes, sir. You can listen. You can still listen to it, but there's still a message to it. Like, would you talk about steaming love sessions in your music? You know what? I would say again, there's no limits, right? It really depends on what I'm feeling in the in the in the moment for the, for the track and what feels right at that time, you know. Because um, hey, music is such it's it's such a universal thing where you know when the vibe hits, that's that's what it is. It's all a vibe, right? So you never know. What do you want to say to the brothers? Do you have a single for the brothers? Oh, for sure, for okay. sure. My music is, I would say, is is for everybody. But okay. yes, because we've been talking about the ladies so much. So, what do you want to say to the brothers right now, where they're probably thinking, "Don't you have singles for me, man?" Yeah, 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 for sure. I mean, there's definitely gonna be some stuff that everybody will be, will be able to vibe with. Um, and yo, get your bag. <laughs> <laughs> the brothers, okay. So, so it's the same message to the brothers: get all day, your bag all day. Okay, that's, what if that's, they... that, that's the culture that we're in right now? Get your bag. <laughs> why are you why are you slowing down? Do it while you can. I, but, well, I mean, you know, hey, but it looks like Tefo's music too likes to figure out what you want before we take that next step. Am yes, I right? For sure. For and sure. what about people that say, listen? I know I might have asked this before. I just want to settle down without taking that step. What do you say to them in the music? I, I, I tell them that, hey, it's that's that's okay, you know? But I know there was a time where you didn't want to settle down, so listen to this track. <laughs> that's it. What do you want to tell the fans and the people that love you this time? Oh, man, the fans are awesome. Uh, a lot of love I, I i send a lot of love to all the fans and all the supporters like i love you guys seriously you know people are kicking and scratching and screaming and knocking you know at the at the tefo dm saying hey when's the next track coming out well you've got it and you're gonna get more so i thank you guys so much <laughs> <laughs> Scream and knock it. Well, I mean, you yeah. could do H Town knock it boots. You Man. could re resample that one if they're Possibly. knock it. That's, you could do yeah. one with the. Oh, and for the listeners that don't know, H Town boots. H Town, sorry, no, good love and body knocking, rocking boots all night long. <laughs> that was their song, their biggest song. It was just nasty. It was just about sex. If you all want to know what that song was about, but Tafo can do one for like the girls reaching out for in the in the DMs on Instagram. Would we, you do that one? We gotta keep. We gotta keep it fresh. Keep it variable. Keep it. Keep the variety going. So stop oh. knocking those DMs. On my phone. You, you gave me a song. Uh-huh. I'm, I'm, I'm going straight to the studio after this. 
<laughs> well, that could be a good song, though, yes, for you. I'm okay. going to get some royalties done. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do you want to throw out your platforms in case there are new listeners or there are people that forgot and said, you know what, let me go to Tefo again? Definitely. You can find me on all platforms, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, at Official Tefo. Official T-E-F-O. Uh, or visit my website, officialtefo.com. All right. Any tours coming up or no? We got shows coming up. Okay. Full tour soon. Soon. But we got to we gotta ease into all of that, right? So we definitely got some shows. It's going to be hot. It's going to be a hot, a hot Tefo summer. <laughs> <laughs> real hot, real hot boy. You know what? <laughs> all right, Tefo. It's so good to get to know you again. I really want to thank you. Any final things you want to say to us? Hey, man. Shout out to you, Donovan LaCroxy. Like, this is an awesome show. Awesome. And, and thank you very much for, for having me in. All Love right. It. All right. For CJRU, I'm Donovan LaCroxy. I want to thank R&B artist Tefo.